Okay, so here's going to be a basic introduction to millivolt or non-externally powered gas valve systems. This guy here particularly is from a hot water tank. See, this is the main burner. Here is the um, pilot assembly, the thermal pile, the thermal couple, and the electronic or this, the um, piezoelectric ignition probe. Now, the way these all work is generally pretty similar, whether it's from a hot water tank, your natural gas fireplace setup, or pool heater. Uh, the burner assemblies may look a little bit different, but this general setup is pretty much the same. You have a tube that controls the flow of gas for the pilot light, which comes out here, and that's the little part that always stays lit. Um, to light the burner. So if you could imagine that this little candle, en français un bougie, is our pilot light. Whenever I introduce gas, so I'm not going to spark it, it ignites. So if this was our if this was our burner, we leave our little pilot light lit, and anytime I introduce gas, it lights up. So it's the same basic principle um, for this. Now, the gas manifold is what controls everything, so the, the pilot light burns up against the thermal pile, and if you were to, you know, cut one of these open, it's, it's uh, quite small, but comprised of dissimilar metals that when heat is introduced, it creates a very small amount of electrical current, which um, the, it was contacted on the contacts are on this end. So with the multimeter, you're going to touch one end on here, one end on there, and you're going to see a very small amount of electric current in millivolts DC. So that is what powers this thing. And in here, there's very, very tiny springs that hold the valve open or closed, and it's that generated power that uh, that operates that. As you can see, here's the piezoelectric. Uh, sparky bit, igniter. Always, always, always when you're lighting these things, there's a pilot setting. So you turn it and hold it to the pilot. And what that does is it controls the flow of gas to the pilot light. If you were to try and, you know, light this thing on the on position or the run position, um, that's, that's a fantastic way to, you know, have an insurance claim and blow yourself up in the process. So never attempt to light it in the on position. Most of the time they, it won't even work in the on position without having the, the pilot light on first. So always, always on pilot. And if you're really trying this for like, you know, 20 minutes and the thing's not working, just, just stop. Because there's most likely a problem with the gas valve. These, they can't or they really shouldn't be serviced. You just got to get a new one. You know, you, you don't want to be opening this thing up and messing with parts. Um, because they're they're not made to be serviceable, so you just got to get a new one. You know, if you're in some third world shithole in you know Pakistan or something, you know, I guess anything goes. But um, no, you don't you don't want to take this apart. Just take it out and get a new one because there's probably something fucked up in here. So I'll show you the operation of the uh, thermal pile itself. Try and line this up with our little candle here, our stand-in pilot light, which is going to burn up against the thermocouple, and we're going to attach our probes of our multimeter to the end of the, uh, of the, the wire over here. Now, you can, uh, if this thing is running, generally the, the thermal the thermocouple will be working, but you could also be not getting the correct voltage, and that'll cause it to shut on and off. If, uh, if this is a brand new installation that you have and it's not working properly, um, it's most likely an issue with uh, the sizing of the gas pipe or the gas pressure, in which case you'll need a, uh, a manometer or some gauges where you can hook up. Um, usually there's, I'm uh, not sure where it is, but uh, you can test for the correct gas pressure and gas flow. That's a little more uh, complicated, but uh, that's, that's how that would be done. And, you know, the dude who installed your shit should have checked it first. But if you have some, some really old shit that's, that's you know, gone pear-shaped on you, 
it's most likely the uh, a thermal a thermal couple issue that's not giving you correct current to your gas valve and this is what that video is, is how to test that so you want to take out the, um, the ther thermal couple or the thermal pile you can see in this case it's held on by a little ferrule so there's like a little ferrule there and that's what keeps it in with uh, tension it could also be that this thing is just all cruddy and corroded and just needs a good scraping with a wire brush um, these things do corrode because it's uh, it's a heater element that's you know usually in the basement or something and all that fire and heat needs combustion air so it's pulling in all that surrounding air with all that moisture in there and that's what causes this stuff to, to rust out and fail um, so you know running a dehumidifier in the summertime in your basement is a good way to extend the life of your hot water tank because you're taking out a lot of that moisture in the air that would otherwise be introduced into the bottom of that burner assembly and you know, cause it to rust out. Anyway, so let's just set this up here and I'll show you how to test it. Okay, so you want it to be directly in the flame for the most part. This is a flame candle, so it's going to get all sooty. A wax candle. We turn on our multimeter, we'll set it to the DC function, and we will touch, and you, we should see a reading. Now, you should check up the specs of your particular installation to see how much you should be getting. If you get a negative reading, you're just holding it backwards. So there you go. You can see we have about 11 millivolts. So it is generating current. Now, if that would be the correct amount of current for your thermal pile or thermal couple, then that would prove that that's working. And your next suspicion would lead you to believe that there's a problem with the gas valve itself. Now these are relatively cheap parts, you can replace them, just make sure you get the correct spec for your, uh, for your uh, application. You can see when we hold it under a wax candle, you get all that nasty shit on there, so it's better to use a uh, clean burning flame and hold it right in, the, uh, right in the flame. But that's how it should work. at the, the gas valve itself this is the uh, thermostat that would normally go into the hot water tank and you can see your your connections here for the, uh, the thermal couple and for the pilot light itself this is uh, these are the aluminum and brass when you're threading this in you want to go by hand uh, because if you cross thread this shit it's uh, it's really gonna fuck your day and you're just gonna have to end up replacing this whole thing uh, regardless and before you try and screw this out make sure you drain your tank because water is going to come pissing out of there and it's just not going to be very fun at all anyways that's how you test the thermal pile you have any questions let me know